Hey guys, so as it is summertime, to beat the heat, I'll be showing you four easy DIY recipes of ice lollies that can be made effortlessly and in no time. So let's just get started. A type of lolly is the lemon lolly that is the quickest and most refreshing out of the lot. So for this, you have to make lemonade to taste and don't forget to add a bit more sugar as the sweetness of sugar decreases when frozen. So I'll be adding 4 spoons of sugar and of course 1 whole lemon and mix this well until all the sugar dissolves. Well now I'll be pouring this mixture into one of my mold and freezing it for around 2-3 to three hours. So the second type is the Nutella Popsicle. This is my personal favourite popsicle. So let's just start it. First I'll be adding half cup of milk into a blender. This is my hand blender. And then I'll be adding a spoon of cocoa powder. This is actually optional but it just enhances the taste. And last but not the least, the main ingredient, Nutella. We are adding a heap spoon Nutella. Now I'll just be blending this in with my hand. So the third type is the seasonal special mango kulfi slash popsicle slash lolly, whatever you want to call it. But it tastes great. So let's just look into the recipe. So first you have to add mangoes into a garam blender. You can add how many ever mangoes you want. You can never go wrong with mangoes. Next add a scoop of vanilla ice cream just to make it a bit more rich. And to make it a little liquidy, 1 fourth cup of milk. And blend this all together. Now, as it is completely blended, I'll be pouring this into my mold. Just cover it and voila! Freeze it, but at overnight will be the best because it's pretty thick, so it'll take time to freeze. So the last type of lolly I'll be showing you all is a watermelon and citrus flavoured lolly. It might sound a little weird and bizarre but it tastes perfect, promise. I am a very picky eater so even I like it so hopefully you will. So let's just get started. First you have to add a few watermelon pieces like 10 to 15 pieces into a blender. Again, this is my hand. Try to remove as many seeds as possible. And now, one fourth cup of orange juice. And you could use fresh orange juice, but I'm using the tetra pack one. And then, one tablespoon of honey. It sounds bad again, but it is. And then, a twist of lemon. Just a slight bit, just to get that sourish effect. Cut down there. Then a few mint leaves. Just I'm using fresh ones. It tastes the best when it's fresh. Now we will blend all of this. Now, as I've done, finished blending it, I'll be pouring it into my mold carefully unlike the last few times but just like so um, while making lollies quantities just do not matter but still I'll be listing all the ingredients and their quantities in the description box also I purchased these molds at Amazon I'll be leaving the link where I bought this in the description box also but the cheaper alternative for doing this from this arrangement is by just taking a plastic cup, covering the brim in a little lower than that area with foil and 
um, poking a skewer or an ice cream stick through the center of it. It works just as well. Just that the shape differs. So now I'll just be popping these into the freezer and freezing them overnight because that's the best. So let's do it. lollies overnight to set and now removing lollies out of their molds could be a bit tricky like if you're doing it for the first time but then I usually put it on the running water tap it hard on the bench and then they should come out easy so hope you enjoyed that video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that's it for this video bye